Motorola Razr is back 15 years after the original, but this time it's an Android smartphone with a folding screen. The company has let me borrow one for 24 hours, so I thought I'd answer your questions from Twitter. Alex asks, how does the screen feel? Is it just like a regular smartphone screen or does it have a more flimsy, plasticky feel to it? Well, that very much depends where you touch the screen because it's not attached all the way down. So if you touch it near the top, it's really firm and solid, but then in the middle where the hinge is, it does feel a bit more plasticky and spongy. Also, it, there is a bit of like a noticeable creasing noise when you open and close it. James asks, how robust are the edges of the screen by the bend? When you fold the phone, the screen does lift up a little bit because it's not completely attached to the phone. That's necessary to allow it to fold the way it does, but I do wonder if bits of dirt could get underneath there and cause problems in the future. It's very difficult to say how many times you could open and close this. Samsung and Huawei have given a figure. They say more than 100,000 times and their screens would be fine. Lenovo hasn't given a figure for this, but the company did tell me they'd expect it to last for the lifetime of the phone. But how long that is, is of course up to debate. That might mean two years, that could be for some people four years. How noticeable is any creasing? Just like with the Samsung Galaxy Fold, you can see the creasing in the display when it's not switched on. But crucially, when you look at the phone as you're using it, or if you're watching a movie, you really don't notice the crease at all. Ali says, is the software as chronically bad as the original? Now, a few people messaged me and told me they had the original Razer many years ago and that it was terrible. Well, this phone, of course, is an Android phone, so it will run all the apps you're used to. One nice Easter egg is that you can choose as your home screen this original Moto launcher, but really that's not much more than a novelty. Hello, Moto. Chris asks, have you done a sassy hang up yet? This is something I've really missed on modern phones and it's the first thing I tried on here. Yes, you can end a call by snapping the phone shut. Although it's very hard to do without dropping it. <laughs> How is the camera? Well, I think when people are going to spend a thousand pounds or more on a phone, they really are expecting the very best camera. And the Samsung and Huawei folding phones both have multiple cameras. The camera on the Razer is fine. It's fine, it takes good pictures. It's by no means the best smartphone camera I've ever tested. Obviously with this device, you're paying the premium price for the folding screen, not the camera. But even then, I think some people will find this a step backwards and something they're not prepared to compromise on. Which brings me nicely to this final question. Is it too expensive for what it is? Apart from the fact that this phone folds in the middle, which is definitely impressive, this is a fairly ordinary Android phone. Now it's worth remembering that the original Motorola Razr wasn't necessarily the best phone experience either, but it did sell well as a fashion accessory. The phone looked good, celebrities endorsed it, and people wanted it. Lots of people I've spoken to are really excited about this form factor making a comeback, but I think the high price tag at $1,500 makes it more likely to appeal to a small number of people as a fashion accessory rather than as a mass market product.